Shalom and welcome to another day of Living Supernaturally where we learn together of God's Word, meditate on it and apply it for our different life stages. So this week we have been looking at the truth of God's Word for the youth and uh, Jeremy has been sharing some of his thoughts and his concerns about his stage of life. And we have been looking at God's Word together to learn from it. Jeremy. So, in today's world, it's so common to hear talk and inappropriate language uh, in the media or in entertainment and even among people. Um, and I wonder why people do that and what our response should be as Christians. So, thank you for raising that very important uh, observation and this concern. So like anything else, we can find our answer in scripture. So let's read from scripture together. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 29 to 30. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers, and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. So, you know, the corrupt word that Paul refers to here could be anything um, like taking the Lord's name in vain or speaking in mean-spirited ways or, you know, even using certain vulgar language. And we see that there are implications of this corrupt and this unwholesome talk. And it says um, that it is not useful. You know, these kind of words is not good for, uh, for anything it can actually create a very um, negative atmosphere. It could also bring about the real condition of the heart. So what is the purpose of our tongues? Why has God given us tongues? And scripture shows us again and again that our tongues should be, give, should be used and have been given to us to give God glory, to speak of His praise, to talk about His goodness, and to speak about the wonderful grace of God uh, for us. So what do we do? And I think there are certain um, directions that are given in this verse here. So the first direction is to, the verse gives us a direction to say that to stop what we are doing, to cease from it coming out of our mouths. So it would just, you know, sometimes just naturally flow, but we should be doing something to stop it and instead what are we to do it is to do something else instead which is to bring about that which is good which is wholesome which is useful which builds and edifies one another so we are asked to cease from giving out those words and instead um, saying something that edifies people so if you look back in that verse, we are also to consider who is living within us. The Holy Spirit lives in us and we are representing the Holy Spirit to others as we, as we speak. Because He is, um, we are His temple and what we say brings Him glory. We are also asked not to grieve the Holy Spirit by what we say. So as you go out, as you meet with people, um, help yourself to understand and direct yourself to keep away from speaking that which is not wholesome but to edify others by by speaking good by speaking things that are lovely that are pure that are trustworthy shall we pray together heavenly father we thank you that you have given us such an important part of our body our tongues that we can use to glorify your name, build others and edify others. We pray that we will pay attention to your word to keep away from unwholesome talk and instead to say things that are whole, to say things that are pure. We pray that you would give us the grace. Thank you because the Holy Spirit resides in us to give us that help and to give us things that we can speak that build and edify ourselves and one another. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.